Here's a fact that might surprise you. According to a survey published in the Journal of Sexual Medicine, nearly 82% of men cannot correctly identify the key female pleasure zones beyond the obvious ones. And no, it's not about technique. It's about understanding her anatomy. As a urologist, I've seen how little awareness most men have of how complex female arousal really is. So today, let's break down the science, not the myths, behind the pleasure zones most men completely overlook. When we talk about intimacy, most people imagine it's all about what happens between the legs. But in reality, female arousal is an intricate process that involves the nervous system, blood flow, hormones, and the brain. A 2019 study from the Journal of Sexual Medicine used MRI scans to map female sexual response. And what they found was fascinating. Areas like the inner thighs, neck, ears, and even the lower back activate nearly the same pleasure centers in the brain as direct genital stimulation. That means men who overlook these zones are missing an opportunity, not just for pleasure, but for connection. Because scientifically speaking, arousal isn't just physical, it's deeply neurological and emotional. Now, as someone who studies urology and sexual health, my goal isn't to sensationalize this topic, it's to educate. The more you understand how a woman's body actually works, the more confident, respectful, and connected you become as a partner. So in this video, we'll explore the hidden anatomy of pleasure, what the latest research says about these lesser known erogenous zones, and how awareness, not performance, is the real foundation of great intimacy. If you're serious about understanding the science of attraction, arousal, and connection, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every week, I share medically-backed insights that help you understand your body and your partners the right way. The Anatomy of Female Arousal Before we talk about specific pleasure zones, we need to understand what's actually happening inside the female body during arousal. Because when you know the biology, everything else starts to make sense. Arousal isn't just a moment of excitement. It's a complex physiological reaction involving the brain, hormones, blood vessels, and sensory nerves, all working in harmony. Think of it as a symphony of signals rather than a single note. 1. It all starts in the brain. In both men and women, the brain is the most powerful sexual organ. When a woman feels emotionally connected or mentally stimulated, the limbic system, the brain's emotional center, activates. This triggers the release of dopamine and oxytocin, the pleasure and bonding hormones. A functional MRI study from Rutgers University showed that even gentle stimulation, like the neck or inner thighs, lights up the same pleasure centers in the brain as genital contact. That means arousal starts long before any physical touch, and it's driven by emotional safety, curiosity, and anticipation. 2. The Role of Blood Flow and Hormones Physiologically, arousal is about increased blood flow. Just as men experience erection through vascular changes, women experience engorgement, a swelling of tissues in the clitoris, labia, and vaginal walls due to increased circulation. A 2018 clinical review in the International Journal of Impotence Research found that estrogen levels and nitric oxide both play major roles in enhancing genital blood flow and sensitivity. When these pathways are stimulated, not rushed, they heighten sensitivity across the entire pelvic region. That's why foreplay, slow buildup, and emotional presence are not just romantic ideas. They're biologically necessary for full arousal. 3. The Nervous System's Hidden Pathways What most men don't realize is that arousal is not localized. It's controlled by a network of nerve pathways that extend from the pelvic, pudendal, and hypogastric nerves connecting regions like the lower back, inner thighs, and even the abdomen. Studies published in Clinical Anatomy have shown that stimulating areas innervated by these nerves can activate the same reflex responses as direct stimulation of the clitoris or vagina. In simple terms, the female body has multiple access points that all connect back to the same pleasure network. 4. Why Awareness Matters when men overlook these biological realities, intimacy becomes mechanical instead of mindful. Understanding arousal as a neural, vascular, and emotional process changes the dynamic from doing something to her to experiencing something with her. That shift from action to awareness is what neuroscientists call mutual synchrony. 
When partners are attuned to each other's physical and emotional signals, both brains release more oxytocin and endorphins, leading to greater satisfaction and trust. Now that you understand what's happening inside her body during arousal, let's explore where these signals concentrate. In the next section, we'll talk about the hidden pleasure zones most men never notice and what science reveals about why they matter. The Overlooked Pleasure Zones Now that we understand how arousal works inside the body, let's uncover where those signals actually concentrate. Because while most men focus on one or two obvious areas, neuroscience tells us that the female body is filled with what I call silent sensors, regions loaded with nerve endings and blood vessels that are biologically wired for pleasure and emotional connection. 1. The inner thighs, the pathway of anticipation. The inner thighs are one of the most sensitive zones in the body. They're rich in afferent nerve endings connected to the pudendal nerve, which also supplies sensation to the genitals. A study in the Journal of Physiology found that gentle stimulation here increases both skin temperature and blood flow, indicators of arousal, even without direct genital contact. This means that slow, mindful touch in this area activates arousal pathways naturally without pressure or performance. 2. The neck and ears, the oxytocin triggers. When the neck or area just below the ear is touched, it triggers the release of oxytocin, the hormone responsible for trust and bonding. According to neuroendocrinology research from Emory University, stimulation around the vagus nerve, which travels through the neck, can activate the brain's pleasure centers even without genital involvement. That's why many women describe gentle attention here as relaxing and emotionally connecting rather than just physical. 3. The lower back and buttocks, the pelvic gateway. Here's something few people know. The lower back and buttocks are neurologically linked to the pelvic nerves. A 2020 paper from Clinical Neurophysiology showed that sensory input from this area can influence the same spinal pathways that control genital arousal. In simple terms, stimulation here can prime the body for arousal by relaxing the pelvic floor muscles and increasing blood flow to the region. 4. The clitoral network, more than meets the eye. Most men think the clitoris is just a small external point, but in reality, it's part of a much larger internal structure. MRI imaging from Oslo University Hospital revealed that the clitoris extends up to 9 centimeters internally, forming a wishbone-like shape that surrounds the vaginal canal. That means when you focus only on the visible tip, you're engaging less than half of what's actually there. Awareness of the full structure helps partners approach intimacy with greater patience and understanding rather than rushing stimulation. The abdomen and hips, the forgotten sensory web. Even the lower abdomen and hip regions can respond to touch because of overlapping iliohypogastric and genital femoral nerve branches. These nerves connect sensory input from the skin to deeper pelvic structures. According to Anatomical Science International 2018, stimulation across these areas helps synchronize the nervous system's response, calming anxiety and enhancing arousal readiness. When you combine all of these regions, the thighs, neck, back, clitoral network, and even the abdomen, you begin to see that female pleasure is not about one spot, but about a system. Each area communicates with the brain, the heart, and the hormones that govern desire. Understanding this anatomy is not only about improving intimacy, it's about honoring biology and connection. But there's one more crucial layer to this entire picture, and it's not on the body at all. It's in the mind. Next, we'll explore how the brain itself decides whether the body feels desire or detachment, and how emotional connection amplifies physical pleasure. The brain connection, the real source of pleasure. If there's one thing most men don't realize, it's that female arousal doesn't start in the body. It starts in the brain. In fact, neuroscience shows that without psychological stimulation, the physical response can't fully happen. So, if the body is the instrument, the brain is the conductor. 1. The limbic system, the center of desire. Deep inside the brain lies a network called the limbic system, specifically the amygdala, hippocampus, and hypothalamus. These regions control emotion, memory, and reward. 
when a woman feels emotionally safe, desired, or mentally engaged, the limbic system releases dopamine, the brain's reward chemical. A landmark study from Rutgers University using fMRI scans showed that during arousal, the female limbic system lights up the same way it does during emotional connection and trust. In other words, the brain doesn't separate emotional intimacy from physical pleasure. That's why tension, pressure, or stress can literally switch off arousal pathways in seconds. 2. The Role of the Prefrontal Cortex – Permission to Feel the prefrontal cortex, the thinking part of the brain, often acts like a gatekeeper. If a woman feels anxious, judged, or disconnected, this region stays active and suppresses sexual signals. But when she feels relaxed and emotionally safe, the prefrontal cortex quiets down, allowing the limbic system to take over. That's why foreplay isn't just physical, it's psychological. Small things like eye contact, words of affirmation, or emotional reassurance can literally change how her brain processes touch. 3. The Neurochemical Cocktail of Pleasure When arousal peaks, the body releases a mix of chemicals. Dopamine, creating excitement and anticipation. Oxytocin, building emotional bonding. Endorphins, relieving tension and creating a sense of bliss. A 2021 paper in Frontiers in Behavioral Neuroscience found that synchronized oxytocin release between partners, meaning both people are emotionally present, dramatically enhances satisfaction and relaxation after intimacy. So the key isn't just stimulation, it's synchronization. 4. The Mind-Body Synchrony True connection happens when the brain and body align, when emotional safety meets physical awareness. This state is called arousal synchrony, and studies from the Archives of Sexual Behavior suggest it's one of the strongest predictors of relationship satisfaction. That means the most powerful pleasure zone isn't on the skin. It's the bond created between two people who are emotionally and neurologically attuned. So yes, there are hidden physical zones of pleasure, but the brain is what decides whether those zones even respond. In the next part, I'll share how to apply this knowledge, how awareness and empathy can create real connection, not just momentary excitement. Practical Takeaway, Turning Awareness into Connection. So we've talked about anatomy, hormones, and the brain's role in pleasure, but how can you apply all of this in real life? Because knowledge alone doesn't create connection, awareness in action does. 1. Slow down. The body needs time to respond. One of the biggest findings in sexual medicine is that women's bodies take 5 to 10 times longer than men's to reach full arousal. A 2019 study published in the Journal of Sex Research showed that female genital blood flow continues to rise for up to 20 minutes after consistent stimulation long after most men assume the body is ready. What does that mean for you? Slow is powerful. It's not about prolonging activity for performance. It's about allowing her physiology to catch up with her psychology. When you slow down, her nitric oxide and estrogen pathways, the very systems that fuel sensitivity, stay active longer. So take the pressure off yourself. Let anticipation build naturally. It's literally how the body is designed to work. Two, engage her mind, not just her body. Remember, arousal begins in the brain. A 2020 paper in Frontiers in Psychology found that mental stimulation and emotional connection activate the same reward centers as physical touch. That's why emotional engagement, humor, listening, shared curiosity can heighten physical response more than any technique. If you truly want to enhance intimacy, focus on psychological safety and trust. Simple gestures like maintaining eye contact, offering sincere compliments, and showing patience tell the brain, I'm safe, I'm seen, and I'm valued. That's when the prefrontal cortex relaxes and arousal deepens. Three, build the connection outside the bedroom. This might surprise you, but studies show that what happens outside of intimacy often determines what happens during it. In a 2021 Harvard Health Review article, researchers found that couples who consistently express gratitude, empathy, and affection in daily life experience higher levels of oxytocin synchronization. 
meaning their bodies and emotions literally move in harmony. So if you want a stronger connection, start by nurturing emotional intimacy during everyday moments. A simple text message, a kind gesture, or honest conversation can set the biological stage for deeper desire later. Four, shift from performance to presence. One of the most powerful shifts men can make is to stop focusing on doing everything right and start focusing on being present. Performance anxiety triggers the release of cortisol, the stress hormone that suppresses sexual arousal in both men and women. But presence, breathing, slowing down, tuning into her responses, triggers the parasympathetic nervous system, the body's relaxation and pleasure mode. A 2022 study in the Archives of Sexual Behavior confirmed that mindfulness-based awareness improves not just arousal, but satisfaction and emotional bonding. So your attention, your calm, connected focus is more powerful than any physical skill. Five, make curiosity a habit. Here's the truth. No two women respond exactly the same way. Even the nerve pathways we discussed earlier vary slightly between individuals. So the most respectful and confident thing you can do is to stay curious. Ask, observe, learn. When partners feel that openness, trust increases, anxiety drops, and the body naturally responds. That's what turns a moment into a memory, curiosity backed with empathy. As a urologist, I can tell you that great intimacy isn't built on performance or perfection. It's built on awareness, communication, and mutual respect. Understanding the science behind female pleasure isn't just about what to do, it's about realizing how the body and brain are wired to work together. When you combine knowledge with kindness, connection becomes effortless. This video is intended for educational purposes only and is not a substitute for professional medical advice. Always consult a licensed healthcare provider for any personal health or sexual wellness concerns. If you're ready to understand the science of attraction, connection, and confidence, hit that subscribe button now. Every week, I share medically-backed insights to help you build healthier, more fulfilling relationships the right way.